What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to another video. Today, we are diving into the Fate Ember Double Chance event and why I think Lost Ark should be doing way more events like this one to keep things fresh and exciting. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content. At the time of this video, we only need 43 subs left for the 1000 subs milestone. So make sure to subscribe to be a part of the first 1000 subs. I can't believe we are almost there. All right, anyway, let's first talk about this Fate Ember double chance event. So for an entire month, we have a double drop rate on Fate Embers. If you've been playing the game for a while, you know how much of a grind it can be to get these embers. And before anybody says, yeah, I know, two times zero equals zero, haha, <laughs> very funny. Or I guess it's zero times two, since you're getting zero in the first place, so double doesn't even matter. But anyway, if you are on the newer side to Lost Ark, let me explain what a Fate Ember is. So while you're doing your Chaos Dungeons or Guardians, there is a chance to drop something called a Fate Ember that could give you some really nice rewards like honing materials, card packs, and especially gold. That's what most people want. Dailies are incredibly mind-numbingly boring, but this event in particular has made dailies more exciting to do. Now, have I gotten anything useful from it yet? No. But knowing there's the double the chance of getting a Fate Ember really motivated me to do dailies on all my characters. One day my hard work will pay off and I will get that 200,000 gold Fate Ember. I promise. Surely. No cope. Anyway, regardless, I've noticed that not just myself, but a lot of players, both veteran and new players, have been way more active since this event started. Imagine logging in each day knowing that you have the chance of doubling your chance of getting a Fate Ember. It's an incentive that instantly makes these mundane tasks extremely more enticing. Even for those of us who feel burnt out or on the verge of taking a break, these kinds of events pull us back in with the promise of progression and rewards. Seems like when there's a clear, tangible benefit like double rewards, or I guess double the chance of rewards, we are more inclined to engage with the content. Crazy how that works. Smilegate and AGS, please take notes. And that got me thinking, hmm, what if Lost Ark implemented more events like this across other aspects of the game? How could it change the way we play and keep us engaged? Fate Ember is just one part of many areas yet to explore, so let's take a look at other areas that could benefit from similar events. So one example could be a life skill double drop event. If Lost Ark introduced weekends where you get double the fish or ores or whatever, it would attract more people to do life skills. I think it's a pretty good incentive especially with our high fusion material prices. Creative ideas like this would definitely get more people playing on the weekends during their downtime, which would significantly reduce the life skill material prices. It would make a healthier in-game economy because these materials would start flooding the market, making them more affordable for players who need them. I know for those doing life skills right now, they're probably screaming at me to stop saying this. So, you know, my bad, but we do need more people just doing stuff all over Artesia. All right, here's where things get really interesting. Double honing chance events. If you've ever played MapleStory, you know they have Star Force and cubing events where you get a higher chance to upgrade your gear. It's one of the most anticipated events because it gives players that extra little push that they need to power up their characters. Now imagine if Lost Ark did the same thing. Instead of Star Force Sunny Sundays, we could have Hone Heavily Hundays. There's no H starting days, so we're gonna say Hundays. 
but our honing success rates are temporarily increased. Similar to cubing events, double our odds for quality taps. Literally anything, I'm just throwing stuff out there. This would give everyone from new players and veterans a fun incentive to grind for materials and gold to spend on a certain day. There are so many other things Lost Ark could do but aren't doing, so it's driving me crazy that any of this hasn't been introduced yet. Lost Ark could take a page from games like MapleStory or even Final Fantasy, which regularly hosts seasonal events. Imagine this, during the holiday seasons we get something like a Winter Wonderland event where running dungeons has a chance to drop unique skins, mounts, titles, whatever. I am a sucker for these, and I know a lot of you are too. Give me a chance to get a Santa Slay mount from a drop, or you know, Grinch's costume, or a relic title that's like Santa's naughty list, or whatever. Dude, literally anything. Please, these would be so nice. By incorporating these themed events, Smilegate could easily create a fun festive atmosphere in the game that everybody would want to be a part of. It would definitely make people join this game. Uh, it would be so much more fun to play this game as well during the season. Uh, and I don't want another version of Snow Pang Island where you know you first smack a snowman a couple times. Yeah, I think you get some silver out of it. And then you do snow ping, throwing snowballs. Like, oh, that's so fun. But please, God, no. We want better stuff. Kind of things to wrap up my thoughts here. Creating these double events and stuff will definitely boost player engagement and retention. Those are all nice. It's simple psychology. When there's a clear time-limited benefit, players are more motivated to log in and grind. These events give everyone, whether you're a casual player or hardcore grinder, a reason to jump back in the game. Adding these kinds of events also makes existing content feel fresh. We literally see it with Chaos Dungeons and Guardians. Everyone I know, including me, are doing their dailies every single day for those Fate Embers. It's an easy win for Smilegate, as they don't need to create entirely new content. Just tweak the existing systems to offer different rewards during specific periods. Did you finish taking notes, Smilegate and AGS? Let's get more of these events in the game. I promise you, I promise, I promise. And you don't need to charge me for this. This is all free, by the way. But again, I'm taking sponsors. But I want to hear what you all think. What kind of events do you all want to see in Lost Ark? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and make sure to subscribe for the first 1000 subs. And for my pineapple gang, the secret word I want you all to sneak into the comments for today is 1000. For once, it's a number and it's to celebrate, you know, either hitting the 1000 subscribers or about to. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.